I want to uh, put up a couple of uh, uh, media reactions to the New Hampshire uh, primary results on the Republican side. First up, I believe, is the New York Daily News, uh, that, that front page, Dawn of the Brain Dead. Clown comes back to life with New Hampshire win as mindless zombies turn out in droves. And, of course, the big picture of Trump as the uh, Joker from Batman. Uh, and then let's put up also the Huffington Post, uh, uh, which is next. New Hampshire goes racist, sexist, xenophobic with a picture of Trump. Um, I mean, take, take one at a time. Well, I mean, one of them is a, uh, you know, one of them is a notorious left-wing hack website. Um, I think that, you know, that's the Huffington Post. I mean, I, I, I would sort of expect that. They've had the, you know, they're the ones that had this whole, in every story, we're going to impose this block of text saying, by the way, in case you forgot, Donald Trump's a horrible racist, sexist person on everything that they do. So that's not shocking. But it is that whole pattern we've seen in the New York Daily News where they clearly made a business decision to be reckless and irresponsible and, you know, put cartoons and sound cartoony in their headlines and call Republicans terrorists and just basically be, I mean, everything that a tabloid is, uh, you know, it's yellow journalism is what it is, you know. The New York Post looks very responsible. Usually, you know, <laughs> the liberals always thought the New York Post was the irresponsible right. tabloid in town. There is no question the New York Daily News is winning the race for stupid. 